I'm Beth Guggemer, and this is your Reckless Faith Moment. My husband and I adopted a 12-year-old boy from another country, and it took about 18 months from when we decided to adopt him until he came into our family. About halfway through that, 18 months, we were on Skype with him one night. We had gotten the social worker to agree for us to Skype several times a week to build attachment with him as fast as we could. And he was pretty upbeat. We used to talk about weather and soccer and pets and stuff. Halfway through that, 18 months, he got on one night and he was really sad because he had gotten moved from an eight to 11 year old boys dorm into a 12 to 18 year old boys dorm. And in a government orphanage, it was just a sad place to be. And he was upset and I didn't want to hang up with him. And I said to him before he hung up, what do you do with your big feelings? He's like, I don't know. I said, well, here's what I do. I tell myself the things I know for sure to be true. What do you know for sure to be true? He's like, I don't know anything for sure to be true. I'm like, okay, well, here's what I know. You are my son and I am coming for you. And God has a plan. We might not like it or understand it, but I promise you we can trust it. I'm like, say that after me. So he repeated it after me. I'm not sure he felt that much better that night, but that then became our sign off. Three times a week for the next nine months, when we would get off the call, we would say the things we knew for sure to be true. It just made me feel better at the very least. You're my son, I'm coming for you. God has a plan and we can trust it. It's time for us to finally show up in court. He was so excited. He knew he had a plane ticket in his new name to go back to the US with us the next day. When it was his time in court, we walked into the room and something inside of him triggered because the last time he'd gone into a room like that, a family fell apart, didn't come together. And different people testified, attorneys and social workers and my husband and I, but the way the law is written in his country, if you're over the age of 12, you have to testify in your own voice if you wanna leave your country and go to another family. So that's exactly what happened. The judge looked at him and said, is this what you'd like to repatriate to another country and be in their family? And he, he couldn't talk, he just said nothing. So I'm rubbing his back and my husband's elbowing his ribs and we had this really awkward amount of silence and I'm telling the judge like, what, what are our choices? And finally Tyler lift up his head and he looked at the judge and he said, I'm their son and they came for me and God has a plan and I'm gonna trust it. And I told him later, that's exactly why we said truth in our heart. So in the moments when we most need it, it's right there in the ready. That's how you live a reckless faith life. You get the truth and you bury them deep inside your heart. So in the moments when you most need them, they're right there ready for you. Music